This is the opportunity of a lifetime for people that have businesses and brands out there. Email us right now at advertise at hiphopun.com and you will get an opportunity to put your brand right in front of each video that we do. And let me tell you, the prices are crazy affordable. You definitely can afford it. Email us right now, advertise at hiphopun.com. All right, man. Charleston White is at it again. This time he has an, a war of words with T.I. Son King Harris. Now, Charleston White actually posted up a video saying he's going to the police. That's right, that he's going to the police on King Harris for threatening him. I'm going to actually play that video. Then I'm going to play a video of what King Harris said. And then T.I., had something to say as well. T.I. inserted himself into this as well. He wants to see Charleston White face to face or even talk to him on the phone. So, all right, let's get to Charleston's video first. And then we'll go right down the line. And then stay tuned after that because I'm going to clean this up, tie this all together, and give you my raw, uncensored opinion here on Hip Hop News Uncensored. As always, this video is brought to you by Hip Hop UN.com. That's Hip Hop the Letter UN.com for all your latest hip hop news. All right, let's get to Charleston White. I just tagged the Atlanta Police Department since T.I. son threatened to kick my ass. I'm a senior citizen. That's a threat, and he left me evidence. Not only did I tag the Atlanta Police Department, I tagged Miss Fanny Willis, T.I. I know the same I know the same police that arrested Young Thug. Hold on, I'm going to call him right now. Young Thug say, man, you, I'm, I know the same goddamn police officer that arrested Young Thug that's getting all them niggas Rico. How y'all think I was able to get quick flip Vino? No, no, how y'all, I ain't no T.I. in the boxing match. I'm going to put his son in jail. Fuck, I'm going to box this man for and I want to put his little boy in jail for, for threatening me. He threatened, I'm a senior citizen. And I'm a comedian. And I can make jokes about ugly babies. T.I. got an ugly baby. King is an ugly boy. So why you was a big boy. He said he was with him. He was with him. Man, I stayed with my older cousins. Fucking with the point of who did what, who, man. We was about to whoop your ass. You come back down here from telling. Yo, you had, I can see you had a soft upbringing. Whatever man can fix his mother face to talk shit about a mother kid, bruh. You was a Come deal with the daddy. Come deal with the daddy, man. Because when the daddy get to get on your you gonna do nothing but hit nine one and wait on the uh, and wait on the one to come fo to, to follow behind. You don't want no problem. What you keep on kicking up dust for? What you keep kicking up dust for if you don't want no trouble? Nigga? Whatever man can fix his mother face to talk shit about a mother kid, bro. Use a come deal with the daddy. Come deal with the daddy, man. See, I told you guys about this, and to me, I don't want to say this is fake or stage or anything like that, but at the end of the day, people are continuing to feed into this dude's narrative. It's almost like 6 9 Like, you know 6 9 is going to run to the police and tell. You know, some people just going to the police. You know if that old lady up the street, if you snatch her purse or do something to her, or that Karen or that Kim, whatever, they going to the police. Charleston White is no different. I mean, he and it's funny to see him hugging up with people like uh, Kevin Gates, and it's just wild to me, man. People who, you know, I, but let's talk about the situation, right? Because you got young King Harris, who is really still an adolescent. You know, he he said what he said, and I'm sure he meant it, but he made a mistake. He made a mistake because somebody you know that's going to tell on you, you don't give them any ammunition, you don't give them any out, especially. When they're doing this in conjunction with who their image is and trying to make money off the situation and continue to keep their name hot. This is a golden opportunity. Golden opportunity for Charleston White for not only to keep his name hot, to stay relevant, to make a couple of dollars, keep the interviews flowing in. Because now, look, T.I., I'm going at it with T.I. I'm hugging up with Kevin Gates. I'm bumping into this person. I'm bumping into that person. Soldier Boy and this and that. But I told you guys about that energy. What did I say about the energy? The energy when you when you when you you add it with people like this, and now you're a comedian, and everything's a joke. It's the it's, it's what you start beginning to attract to yourself. No different than these rappers who you know 
preach and rap about death and destruction all day and ops and this and, and, and you wonder why a lot of them you know end up you know bad things end up happening to them and, and, and it goes both ways man you know the power of words is very real there's been experiments done on it there's been great books great literature written about the power of words so it's nothing fake about you know words and how they affect people but i, I just see this as clown stuff i commend ti for stepping in and, and trying to talk to dude you know but see when you see stuff like this it's for one or two things right he probably will go to the police and whatnot i don't know if the police are going to act on it they may they may not you know but at the end of the day you probably see everybody hugging and kissing you got guys on the internet and i've seen a lot of people do this they'll just come at rappers come at you know people in order to get a response once they get the response now it's i'm sorry i admired you now they hugging and they kissing right now i'm not saying there's nothing wrong with people you know actually you know, making up, but, like, to me, like, you know, if I feel a certain way about a person, I feel a certain way about them, and nothing is really going to change that, you know, and, and we could we could piece it up, but I ain't gonna be hugging up with you and be all cool with you, but let me know what you guys think, man, I mean, this is, um, again, you don't give somebody ammunition, he, this dude is as good as a police officer, as good as a cop, and you want to give a cop fuel and ammunition to not only try to get you indicted, but to continue, continue to keep his name hot, continue to stay in the blogs, you got to give it to him. And he's doing a great job of it. He's doing a very, very great job of, 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 you know, every so often keeping his name hot, keeping controversy going. And not that he don't, when people say, oh, he said some true stuff. And I mean, we all say, you know, true and thought provoking stuff. If you sat and listen to our podcast, you'll hear that. If you listen to this podcast, you'll hear that. You know, we, we grow up. I grew up with people that said thought provoking stuff. So just because somebody's saying something that makes a little sense, that don't mean they ain't no nut. That don't mean they ain't no clown. That don't mean that. I mean, even a broken clock is right at least, you know, uh, twice a day. So my thing is like this, right? Everybody knows we had a personal experience with Charleston White. If you go back, he made a couple of videos about us. You know, you can go back and check those videos out. If you're, if you're a channel member, that's like one of the last few videos that was put up. You can go check that video out and see what we had, we had to say about that. I'm not going to get into that right now. But um, I know who he is. I know his character. I know what it's really about with dude. And it, it, it's no, no tough guy stuff. It's all to bait people in, you know. And if you threaten him, if you try to touch him or something, he's going to run to the police on you, period. And King found out the hard way. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section about this, man. This brought, video is brought to you by HipHopUN.com. HipHopUN.com, your official website for all things hip-hop, entertainment, sports, and all that good stuff. Fire them comments away. Leave. Um, make sure you up like the video. Hit the like button on the video. And make sure that you guys subscribe to Hip-Hop News and Center for more. Excuse me. Just like this will be.